Hello, everybody, and welcome back. welcome back to Frank's Collecting Castle. My name is Daniel, and today I'm going to talk about uh, the DC Comics. You, you've seen in my previous uh, videos that I talked about my indie comics, the trades and hardcovers and other editions of indie comics and European comics and, uh, you know, Kickstarters and all that stuff, but I figured now we should go to DC Comics and start with the trades and we got three big piles to go through and I guess we should just start with the first pile here first up we have some cool books here and uh, we have Suicide Squad in the Silver Age I prefer that to a uh, modern take we got The Demon by Jack Kirby and it's a really really cool book we have the Many Worlds of Krypton, Superman, that's a really nice book. One of the great books, Luther, or Lex Luthor by Brian O'Sorello. President Luther, which is say a collection, really, of uh, different stories. When uh, Lex Luthor ran for president, put that to the side. We got Deathstroke the Terminator. So this is the first, uh, collecting the first of his own series. The first trade, they put out like a thicker edition of it. We have Batman Hush, Dark Victory, Nightfall. I also have this is, which volume is this? Part one, I also have the other two parts because I don't have the omnibuses, I have the trades. So anyway, here we have Batman Dark Detective. Uh, let's take these books out. Jack Kirby, just a, a uh, tribute to Kirby by some of the greats. Batman The Man Who Laughs, obviously Ed Brubaker, Don Mackey. And here we got Batman Vampire 3. Very cool stories. This has been put out in another edition as well. Uh, four stories, right? A forward, okay. We have Batman and Dracula, Dark Rain, Batman Bloodstorm, and Batman and Crimson Mist. So anyway, let's take those away and let's get into the pile here, the first pile. Strange Adventures, Tom King. This is a great book. Man, I, I'm a big fan of this. Let's see what's next. We've got Constantine. This is from the New 52. Gotham Central. Now I have um have have it here and I have it in hardcover, but I have the Gotham Central complete. This is a, such a great story. Uh, Batman and whatever happened to Cape Crusader. And the Rebirth, Batman number one there, or volume one. And we have Batman Tales of the Demon. This is very cool. This is a really cool trade. Unfortunately, with this trade, they had done the recoloring. And I don't like it. It looks not good. The artwork is nice, but the recoloring really, like, takes it out of it for me. Grant Morrison's Batman Time and the Batman. Ah, moving on, we got Batman and Son. Then we got Batman and Robin. Oh, we have Gotham County Line. Moving on. Oh, that's not. <laughs> that's some Marvel stuff. Well, maybe it's continuing with Marvel right here. Yep. So that was just a DC on top there. I didn't know that. Well, moving on to this pile. We got more Gotham Central, All Star Batman, which also have that in the in absolute format. Batman Arkham series, Rachel Ghoul. They came up with diff different Batman Arkham, the different uh, villain, and they have different classic stories of each character. And I only have this Rachel Ghoul one. Here we have. Haunted Night, year one, The Long Halloween, which I also have in 
Absolute and the Black and White Noir Edition. Hellblazer, this is this, this, this volume one. No, this is volume five. I do have volume one as well. DC Showcase, Men of War. This is the only DC Showcase I have. I'm really happy to have this one. It's very, very cool. One of the older books. Man, if you can grab a DC Showcase or a Marvel Essential, go do it. You, They're so far out of print, so. Moving on with the next books here. Death in a Family. We got Gotham by Midnight. This is volume one. I have volume two as well. And then we have another Hellblazer. Let's take these out as well, just to make it easier. Let's take a pile. Deathstroke, this is volume one from the New 52. Swamp Thing, Batgirl, you can see it's a lot of New 52. Then we got Jack Kirby's New Gods, but this is the black and white version. So you can see it's kind of an old trade. Very cool though. Constantine again, the just a essential cal catalog. We got Countdown to Dr. Fate, Countdown to Mystery. Take another pile here. Superman Action Comics, Superman Red Sun, All-Star Western, Animal Man, uh, Gates of Gotham. By the way, I have a complete run of Animal, Animal Man and I have a complete run of All-Star Western. I just haven't put them together. Phantom Stranger, Sensational Comics Presents Wonder Woman, Green Arrow, and Green Arrow Year One. That's a great book. Then the Rebirth, Wonder Woman. Moving on. We have the New 52 Wonder Woman. More of that. Green Arrow, Green Arrow, Green Arrow. So this is obviously the New 52. Longbow Hunters, that's a great one. More All-Star Western, obviously, to complete that run. All-Star Western. Final part here. More All Star Western Hellblazer from Rebirth. Gotham at the Midnight. Dark Knight Returns. Jack Kirby's The Forever People. There we go. I figure we've moved through pretty, pretty, pretty quickly because there's still a lot of comics to go through here. Let's take a pile. Let's see what we have. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. We got Batman No Man's Land. Yes, here's part two, Gotham at Midnight. More of the Rebirth Wonder Woman. Nightfall part two. You can see how thick that is. Damn. Here's Nightfall part three. Yes, New Teen Titans, the Judas Contract. That's a great story. Kingdom Come. Justice. Oh, here we go with the Sheriff of Babylon, which is a vertical title. That's a great book. I'll have volume two somewhere as well. Asriel, Justice League, New Beginning, as it's called. And the final pile here Animal Man, Animal Man, Justice League Dark. More, I have the complete run of Justice League Dark. And more. That was pretty quick. Went quicker than I um, expected, honestly. But that's the trades. You can see quite a lot. Trades of DC. Next up will be the uh, hardcovers of DC. Then we'll go through the stuff, uh, the trades of Marvel. Obviously the hardcovers, and then we got some like miscellaneous manga and stuff like that. By the way, I've gotten a new collection place for all my movies. As you can see right here. So I'm trying to, to collect, you know, all the Arrow movies that goes through here. And, different companies than just a regular Blu-rays. <coughs> Sorry for that. Behind back row there, and then the DVDs, 
double row it continues with the box sets but that's for another video here's two books that i picked up or that i had for a long time but i just haven't i am the law how judge dread predicted the future and judge dread year two omnibus this is just a just regular books anyway now you saw my DC Comics, the trades, went through them pretty quickly, but I didn't want to take up too much time because you, you see how much it is, how much it is. It could have taken an hour if I want to describe everything, but there you have it. Next up, as I said, the hardcovers, and then we'll go with the, the Marvel stuff. So uh, if you like this video, if you want to see more, give me that thumb up. Give me a possible subscribe for more content like this. And please, most important, mostly important of all, comment down below. Comment if you like this video, if you want to see more like this, if you don't like it, if you have ideas, suggestions, comments, things you maybe think I should read, or things you like, how can you have this? But please comment down below. It's very important. So everybody, see you again soon.